Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. I am Jim Coppinger with Zen Tech Consultants and today I want to talk to you about a better way to use quantity linking between Bluebeam and Excel, right? And we call this our Bluebeam and Excel Work Smarter process. Um, and it's kind of a follow-up video to uh, our, our Bluebeam and Microsoft Excel Perfect Together video, which you guys have probably seen on YouTube. If not, you can see where to catch up with that up there on the screen. All right. So, you know, the, the linking process between Bluebeam and Excel is really, really popular. And there's quite a lot you can do with it. But there is a little bit of a limitation to it. All right. In particular, what we wind up doing here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to open up Review and Excel. And I've got a couple little Excel examples going here. All right. The, the big thing is, is that in my other video, I show you guys how you can actually go in. And when you have the Bluebeam Extreme version, you can actually create a, a direct link to any file. All right? I can go in and I can add whatever file that I need to. All right? So if I want to grab my you know, uh, quantity linking template, I, I can go ahead and grab that value and I can put it in one cell at a time. And that's really the, the big limitation that people run into is that this has to be done one cell at a time. And Excel will read in real time the actual values from your Bluebeam takeoffs, okay, which is really, really powerful, but it's a little bit tedious in that I have to go item by item by item. And if I'm doing a large job and I have 15 or 20,000 different items, well, that's definitely going to take me some time, right? It's, it's, it's not as beneficial in that respect as you might think. But there is, we're not going to call it a workaround, we're going to call it a smarter way to process your, your quantity linking. And the way that you, you know I recommend for my clients to do this is by building what we call a template structure. So you see on the right side of the screen what I have is a Bluebeam Excel takeoff template. It's a very, very simple one with just some you know items and measurements and quantity costs. All right, very, very basic, just a, a basic costing calculation. And over here on the left, I have my Bluebeam template. And here's the key in, in, in successfully integrating the quantity linking process is that we need to have tools, right? Already set, now I'm using our Zen Estimate HVAC tools, uh, which are kind of pre predefined um, quantity takeoff tools for, for the HVAC and, and piping world. Uh, and you can learn how to purchase those and work with those off of our website. Um, but the, the key here is that I've already got items, just kind of standard tools, right? So you see going up here, here are my standard tools for, you know, four inch and six inch and eight inch duct and so on. Very, very easy to use. And all I've done is just kind of draw them here in my template. And what I do is I create a single PDF template with all the tools that I normally would use for my takeoffs. And then what I've done is I've predefined my Excel template so that it's already linked to this Bluebeam template. In other words, if I go in here right, and I go to my quantity link and I look at the source file, right, you see that I can have the source file here structured and set for that particular. Um, now the key, of course, is that when you're doing a takeoff, you're not working in this template. What you're really doing here is you're going to be working on a particular project. You see here I just have a basic floor plan example. And what you can do is you can actually change, right? And and alter the the source file that this template links to. And what I'll normally do with that is I'll go in, right, and I'll do a save as, right? Browse that to where you ever want it. In this case, I'm gonna actually just use it as my quantity link example here on my desktop. Right? And I'm just gonna save that one. I've got a, an older version there. And you see that it, that's still pointing back to the template file. Now what I want to do is switch it so that it starts reading the values from the actual project file. And that's where I'm going to go back to my quantity link, source files, and I'm going to change the source file right, to go to the uh, quantity link example. Okay. Right, and I'm just going to link that to my quantity linking example file. All right, so that it now starts reading the values from that. And you see that what it does is it zeroes out all of the items. But what I've done now is I've taken what were my templates and I've now pointed them to my new project. Now as I go in and I start to add in items like you know my, my four inch rectangular duct, which is our first line item here. When I go in and I put these in, okay, you see that it's automatically adding the sizes. As I'm doing my takeoff, all of my values are being added in. Same thing. If I go down and start doing uh, you know some of my my rectangular connections, right? I got you know my four inch, forty five degree elbows, right? And I say oh, I got a forty five here and a forty five here and a forty five here, right? And then when I'm done, right? You see that it's automatically going in and adding for us the counts and the lengths, right? And those are full real time connections 
that we can use to very, very easily do our full takeoffs using the Excel spreadsheets and templates that we already have. But the key to it is, like I said, everything you want to do here is you want to start off by building right, a template with all the tools that you're going to use. And that's where something like our, our Zen Estimate HVAC or Zen Estimate Steel tools all come in really, really helpful because they're predefined. You can connect your Excel spreadsheet template to those and then just change your source file as you work. And that's how you can really work much, much smarter using these two processes. All right. So thank you guys for being here. Hope you got some good info out of today's uh, presentation. And we'd love a chance to work with you guys. Hit our website, check out our YouTube channel, and reach out to us, sales at zentechconsultants.net.